Today we're going to be installing Lime 3DS on our Steam Deck. Now Lime 3DS is a replacement for Citro, which was taken down by Nintendo. It's a 3DS emulator, and it was a really good one too. Since Nintendo took it down, there hasn't really been a decent replacement. There's been a few copycats, but they sucked. Until now, we have Lime 3DS, and it is a nice replacement. It works on Steam Deck, and it's pretty easy to install. The only caveat here is you have to do some slight configuration changes in Steam ROM Manager to make it work with Emu Deck. I promise it's not hard. I'm going to run you through the steps right now. Before we actually get started, you're going to really, really want a keyboard plugged into your Steam Deck dock, or you can also use Steam Link to remote control your Steam Deck through your computer. You could do that too. For some reason, whenever you open up Steam ROM Manager, it'll kill your access to using the virtual keyboard. You are going to need to type something in during these steps. All right, guys, from your desktop, open up your browser and go to lime3ds.github.io. I will put this in the description for you. And what you're gonna wanna do is once the page loads up, you'll see something like this and you have to go here to releases, okay? So we're gonna go there and we're going to find the GitHub page right here with all the releases. Now, what we're going to need to do is download Lime3DS 2117 or whatever the latest build is, you'll see it up here. It'll have the latest tag. You're gonna to wanna to download the Linux app image tar.gz here, okay? So click this and we're gonna have it here. And I recommend you have a clear download folder whenever you're starting up this project just to make things really, really easy. Now we have the file right here. What we need to do is right click and go to extract and extract here, auto detect subfolder, okay? So it will make a folder for us and we go inside that folder we have a few different things here. You have three app image files. Now, only one of these files matters to us, okay? And it's lime3ds-gui.appimage. Now, you don't need any other file in this folder to make this work. Now, if you go ahead and double click this lime3ds-gui.appimage, it should open up lime3ds, which is perfect. This is exactly what we want so far. But we're also going to need to take this app image and put it elsewhere on the file system to where Steam ROM Manager thinks that it's pointing to Citra. Okay, so just bear with me here and I'll show you exactly what to do. So just right click this app image file, the GUI one, and hit cut. Now we're going to open up Steam ROM Manager. So let's open up that. And we do that by opening up emu deck as you normally would and we're going to go to steam rom manager it's going to say exit steam and launch the steam rom manager select yes so what we're going to do now is find our entry on steam rom manager for nintendo 3ds so let's look on the left pane here scroll down until you see nintendo it is right about here and yes nintendo 3ds dash citra click on that and check this pane out to the right. So you should see this, scroll down on this right pane until you see this path. Home deck applications and then Citra QT app image. We are going to wanna to go to that folder right now. So what we do next here is open up file manager, which is going to be right here. And we are going to go to that location. So home, deck and then applications now we have a list of app images in here and this is where steam rom manager collectively stores these files so that it can launch right from here so you'll see that we have citra dash qt app image in here already now this is the old citra so what you're going to want to do is either rename this or move it to the trash. I'm going to simply rename it because I want to keep it around just in case. And what we're going to do is call it dot old right there. Okay. So from there, 
we are going to want to copy in the new app image that we took that we just downloaded so right click and paste one file and it says right here that we have lime3ds GUI dot app image okay so after you do that what you can simply just do is take this old file name copy it and rename the entirety of lime3ds dash GUI app image okay and make sure to select all of it if you're using a keyboard and a mouse paste it in make sure it looks exactly like this make sure it has the same uh, case it is case sensitive on Linux so now that we have that set Steam ROM Manager will open up this file thinking it's Citra but if you double click it Lime 3DS launches instead so while we're still here please do double click on this and launch Lime 3DS I have to show you a few items that you need to change before you go back into game mode or before you start scraping ROMs once Lime 3DS is open on desktop mode there's a few things that we need to do First, we want to make sure that full screen is unchecked at the very moment. If you want to play in full screen later on, this is a one-time thing, so just keep it unchecked for now. I would also go to View, Screen Layout, and use the Hybrid Screen option. Personally, I like this better. You could use whatever you want. This is totally optional. Now, what we want to do next is open up Steam ROM Manager again and make sure you have your ROMs directory pointed at your 3DS folder. Now if you already have this then you're pretty much good to go as long as you don't change where your ROMs are but if you don't have it make sure it's pointed to the right folder. In this video I'm not going to tell you how to dump ROMs or how to get ROMs. Make sure this check mark is on here and then go up to add games so it should look like this, Nintendo 3DS, Citra is on, nothing else should be on, and then go to add games and then hit parse. And then your games will populate like it normally would in Steam ROM Manager. Now whenever you're happy with all the artwork and whatever you want to do here, you hit save to Steam. So now that we're back into game mode and we have our ROMs, we want to test one out and we actually need to go to our ROMs collection go to where they would be saved by the Steam uh, ROM Manager Scraper. For me it would be Nintendo 3DS. And we are going to launch, let's give Mario Kart 7 a test. So the reason why we are keeping the full screen unchecked here is because we need to actually configure our controls. So hit the Steam button and make sure that your controller settings are set to gamepad with joystick trackpad and then go to emulation configure go to controls here and then you are going to want to set this up individually one at a time so press on this button here X you want to press Y B and so on and so forth. Make sure you have all of the major buttons here set through your Steam Deck pad or whatever you're playing with really. You don't really have to do the home button or the power button or the circle mod or anything like that. But once you're done configuring it, hit OK and we will try to test the game out. So once we're done with that, go ahead and exit the game and we will relaunch it just so everything is applied and confirmed. So hit play again. And this time when we boot up we will see the bar up at the top we can finally go down to hit full screen so that way the next time that you run any lime 3ds game it will be in full screen so as you can see now if you press the a button it'll get us through the menus we have our d-pad working we have our circle pad working we're going to try this out and see how it runs on Lime 3DS. Pick Luigi and we'll go to the first stage here. And I'm just playing with my modded 3DS here. It's got a cool backplate. 
And like I said, guys, this is a replacement for Citra. Nintendo can't keep us down. Whenever there is an emulator that goes down by a DMCA takedown, there's going to be a bunch of more projects that come out and take its place and do a much better job. So you can't keep us down, Nintendo. Emulation is perfectly legal. Sorry, not sorry. Get over it. But right now you see we have... Mario Kart 7 running pretty dang well on the Steam Deck. And most games are compatible and the touchscreen also works, but you might want to have uh, you want you might want to play touchscreen games actually on the Steam Deck screen and not like plugged into HDMI or something. I hope this helps. Please leave a like. Let's get to 10,000 subscribers. We are the Steam Deck army out here. We're going to do more videos on the Steam Deck. I'm going to try out Shad PS4 with Bloodborne emulation soon. So stick around for that. And I'll see you next time.